Today, I'll be working on a 2006 Scion XB. The truth. Alright, I just want to give a quick congratulations to the winner of my Super Clean giveaway. Uh, I'll be getting in contact with the person um, just to get their address and stuff like that. So Super Clean can send them some products for them to enjoy themselves. So again, congratulations to the winner. Alright. Today I am going to be cleaning out this Scion. There's a bunch of garbage. There's CDs. I'm going to get back to the previous owner. Looks like his pair of glasses and the parking pass. Get all that kind of stuff back to him. But, like, I don't know what the heck this is. What is this? I don't know. If anybody in the comment section knows what this is, let me know. But either way, it's going in the garbage. Some kind of liquid. But anyway. Stuff like that. There's paper towels all over the floor. There's uh, looks like a top to a uh, beef jerky kind of container. Just nasty all around receipts and dirt. And hey, there's a free tool. Maybe if I can even get it out of here. I'll see if he wants that back too. Let's set it aside. But um, yeah, and especially cleaning up all this stuff in the back. Um, so yeah, let's start by cleaning this thing out. I also hate this steering wheel cover. So right now the car doesn't have power steering. So it's hard to turn the wheel and this thing just slips on the actual wheel itself. So let's get rid of that. Much better. Now you can actually grip it and turn and all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, let's start cleaning out this car. And hey, look at that. I actually started making a profit off this thing. There's it's a bunch of change. Um... Definitely gonna see how much change is in this car just lying around. It's not dime earlier too underneath the uh, the shift or the uh, e brake here. So God only knows how much other change is in this car. But yeah, let's start cleaning this thing up. Is a king. All right, before I start cleaning this thing out, I brought out the vacuum and everything like that, but I'm going to put on a pair of gloves just because I don't know all the nastiness I'm going to be finding whenever I start moving stuff out of the way i'm going to be taking out that big um platform he had built in the rear i'm going to take out a bunch of trash as well um i do have got a bag set up just for trash which i've already started putting some trash in there i've got another bag of stuff i'm going to return to him and then i've got a cup that i'm going to put all the change in so let's get to work on that thing Alright, let's see what's hiding underneath that big plank of wood that was back here. Okay, I've still got the arm bar for the seats. Still got seat buckles back here. I don't know. Is this a headrest or is that? No, I think that was like a, a lumbar cushion or something. So, trash. Um, it's still got... That's underneath here. Let's see if I can go around it. 
open those up. Uh, it's full of garbage. Uh, let's see. Unlock is sideways. Come on. Uh, there we go. Oh, this one needs to be unlocked too. Oh, it's like storage down there. Okay. That's definitely not part of the back seat. I'm just gonna lock those for now until we get all this cleaned up and all this cleaned up. But I see a bunch of like plastic, there's a pillow, there's a can of fix a flat. I don't even know that's any good anymore. I kind of can see up underneath the seat, there's a bunch of garbage under there too. All right, let's start cleaning this stuff out. All right, had to go get a jug of water because it is getting very hot out here. But the back seat's looking a heck of a lot better than it was before. It's not quite perfect. Some of these little spots just aren't coming up too well. Um, but I'll probably be scrubbing it here in a little bit. And then I'll be putting all that stuff back in here as well. So no one's really going to see too much of that. Um, I did have to bust out my only fan to keep me cool working out here as well. Because uh, it is gotta be at least 100 a day plus like 100 percent humidity so gotta love living in the south but i'm gonna start working on the front seat so i gotta throw some stuff away give some stuff back to the owner but we're gonna start separating that here in just a minute and then we're gonna start vacuuming out the inside here and uh yeah go from there Alright, so I vacuumed it out a decent bit. I do want to take off these seat covers and see what kind of condition these seats are in, though. Um, actually, they don't look bad underneath here. Hey, just take this thing off. I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, it's honestly not bad at all. I'm going to check the driver's side out, see if it's any better or any worse. They're not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and take the seat covers off. All right, so I'm gonna clean up these covers that go in the trunk, um, and the little styrofoam things as well. Uh, the spare tire actually looks like it's in decent condition still, but I'm gonna throw out these seat covers. I'm gonna throw out this floor mat. Obviously the steering wheel cover. This floor mat had power steering fluid 
dripped all on it. I don't know how well you can see it, but it is all in here. So I'm just gonna throw that away. This is the driver's side one that has a clear hole in it. So I'm just gonna throw that one away too. And we can always get some floor mats for this thing or just leave them out altogether. I'll probably leave them out for the time being, but if I can find some at a junkyard or maybe I can pick up a cheap set from like AutoZone or something like that. Sorry about the wind noise, I got my fan going. But let's finish cleaning up this stuff, put it back in the trunk and I'm gonna throw all that junk away. All right, I'm at a stopping point for today. So it was a good interior clean of the car. Hang out my new air freshener. Hopefully it helps it smell a bit better in here. I say I need a piece of Velcro for that to hold it up there. Just close that for now. And that one's got a uh, hair tie on it. Cool, I'll deal with that too. Um, say so yeah, I'm gonna stop for today, but I'm gonna continue this video uh, probably tomorrow. I'm gonna come in here with like a spray and just wipe everything down. Get everything looking nice, get all the dirt out from like these areas here and this and all that. Just kinda give the interior a good wipe down. Uh, these grab handles are pretty nasty too. Ah, uh, this whole ceiling is pretty disgusting. But I know this thing's never gonna be perfect, but I wanna get it looking decent. Just so when I go to sell it, it's not a uh, a big pile of um big pile of crap i just call it what it is uh, so it's getting there it still had a check engine light it had a couple of little lights on the dash i'm gonna look into that um probably next video so yeah it'll be just a minute for you but for me it's gonna be a new day so i'm gonna be changing outfits all that kind of stuff it is really hot out here family wants to go get some dinner so this gets to wait for another day but again you get to see here in just a second me cleaning the interior really quick i want to see how much change i found in this car two dollars and 77 cents so kind of funny i'm actually making profit off this car uh that's all the change i found inside um for all you that are working on cars this summer too Please do everyone a favor and stay hydrated. It's hot out. Drink plenty of water. I know Gatorades and sodas and all that other stuff tastes good, but water is really what you need. So drink a bunch of water. Treat yourself to like a soda every once in a while, but it's hot outside. Stay hydrated, people. But yeah, day one of interior cleaning looks so much better. Much, much, much later. All right, it's a new day, and I'm gonna start detailing the dash and the steering wheel and everything like that. So there's a lot of dust and nastiness all over everything. So I got a few different products down here I'm gonna be using. Um, I also have tough stuff in the garage as well. This wrapper's all falling apart. But yeah, I'm gonna start detailing the dash, the steering wheel, the center console, all that kind of good stuff. Um, I actually noticed that this comes off. So I'm gonna throw this thing in the wash and hopefully clean it up a bit. And the plastic here's decent condition still, but I am gonna wipe down like all that as well. Uh, door panels, all that good stuff. So anyway, 
I'm gonna get this in the wash and let's go ahead and start wiping things down. Look what I just found when I tilted the steering wheel down. That's pretty disgusting. Let's get that cleaned out. All right, that whole area looks a whole lot better. Let's keep detailing. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the windows. It's kind of nasty. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera, but um, pretty much done wiping down all the plastics that I'm gonna do. Wipe down in the back, back here, along there. There's the dog. Uh, door cards all around. Uh, but now I'm gonna hit it up with some Windex and clean the interior parts of the windows. When I go to wash the car, that's when I'll do the exterior windows. And then I'm gonna start working on getting that stuff off too uh, but I want to get it a good wash first and then I'll start working on like um, dealing with the paint correction and all that kind of stuff and probably sanding it all down and respraying the whole dang thing but yeah let's go ahead and clean these inside windows really quick and that should be the last thing on interior detailing I'm going to do for now um, I'll probably touch the interior again like at least with the vacuum or something um, before I go to actually sell it, just to kind of clean up just a bit more. But for the time being, this is as good as it's gonna get.
All right, the interior cleaned up a good bit. Uh, there's still a little few areas, especially the, the floor mats down below, um, that need some more attention. <clears throat> um, but when I right before I go to sell it, I will retouch up the floor mats and everything like that. Just to kind of get any kind of last remnants of dirt I can find out of here. Because I'm going to be in and out of the car a lot. So I'm just going to be adding some more dirt. I just wanted a good starting place at getting this thing clean. So as you can see, it is a lot better than what it was. Well, I hope you guys are liking the video series so far I'm making on the Scion. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. If you like any of the background music that was in this video, check out the artist SoundCloud. Link is in the description.